Hey y'all, it's your girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to get up close and personal with you guys and talk to you guys about my YouTube journey and talk to you guys about things that I wish I would have known before I started YouTube and in the beginning of my YouTube journey as well. So, we're going to hop right into this. Okay. I'm getting my phone. My notes ready because I got everything on my phone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is be consistent when you first start YouTube. You want to be consistent because, you know, if you start, you know, you start heavy and everything, you start putting out videos because you're having fun and stuff like that, and then you stop and you stop for like two or three weeks or a month or whatever, the people that are subscribing to you are going to be looking for your content and in the in the, in the meanwhile they're going to forget you know and so they're not going to be looking for you no more youtube is not going to be looking for you they're not going to be put they're not going to be pushing out your video and youtube wants to be pushing out your video but if you're not uploading your content they're not going to be like promoting your stuff for you um you also want to um you know try to like post maybe once to two two, two times a week at the least um, if you can do more, do more. But you want to try to do one to two videos per week because it keeps you keeps you being consistent. With that being said, um, you want to plan your videos. So if you're planning your videos, you will always have something to post. So with me, I keep a list of videos in my phone that I want to film. Or like it saves like a video come up like videos um, that I'm watching at the time and I'm really inspired, I will put that on my list because I know that I'm going to want to do something like that on my channel. So you want to you want to plan your videos. I mean, if, if even if if you even if you have a planner like write like write down what videos you want to uh, film on this day or whatever. That that would help. I don't do that, but I know other YouTubers that do that so that will really help. Um try to bulk film if you if you have a busy life and you have multiple things that you that you have going on try to bulk film so try to film like maybe one to two videos or even three videos within a day so that you can post them throughout the week that's what i do um i always work in i work night shift i work 12 hours so your girl can't film on multiple days i can only film on the weekend and i can only bulk film because on my other days i want to relax uh, my, my other days I, I have other things that i need to be doing so i always bulk film um, whether if it's two videos, whether if it's three videos, I always both film so that even if like I post two videos without, the, even if I post two videos within that week, and say if I don't have time to post that third video, I can always post that video the following week, and that can be the beginning video for that following week, and I will just film the weekend before and have my other stuff to post about that week, if that makes sense. Um, with that being said, when you start, when you start your YouTube channel, you want to use what you have. You do not want to go out spending a lot of money if you don't know that if that's what you want to do in the long run. So start off with your phone if you have a phone. If you have a computer, use the webcam. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, it always just depends on what type of computer it is based on the quality. But iPhone is the best way to go. If you have your iPhone, if you have an iPhone, use the back camera. Um, use daylight when you if you if you if you a person that um. If you the person, if you're the person that's in school or whatever, like when you get out of school, as soon as you get out of school, film in front of the daylight. Put your phone up and film your videos. Um, if you just have a regular, uh, regular um, smartphone, just use that. You can start off with your phone. You do not have to go out and buy an expensive camera when you first start it. When you first start your video, your channel, because you don't know if you're gonna want to do YouTube in the long run. So start small. Um, as far as for me, when I first started, um, I used to buy a lot of freaking backdrops. I don't know why in the hell I was buying so many backdrops, um, and I was barely using them. I would see everybody with their, like, cute glitter background. Glitter background was the thing when I first started, and I used to always go and be trying to look for, the, like, the cutest one, or, you know, just looking everywhere for a glitter background when you... I really didn't need it and nor did I even use it so yes just start what you have as long as your background is clean and free of clutter you are good to go um the next thing I would say is not doing sub for sub because I did it in the beginning and it didn't help me and it doesn't help you it does not help you in the long run because those people that are asking for sub for sub or even if you're doing sub for sub for sub 
um, they will subscribe to your channel and once you subscribe they will unsubscribe and even if they are subscribing they're not watching your videos you're not getting your the views that you need on your channel so in the long run stuff for stuff does not work and a lot of people do not like seeing that type of stuff I know for me sometimes I get really annoyed and I just delete it out of my comment because it's really annoying like if I see that you commented and I can you know if you have like a nice little um a nice little profile picture that's another thing you want to brand your channel make sure that your thumbnails your banner your profile picture make sure that all of that stuff is looking good but I'm gonna get to that in a minute do not do stuff for stuff you guys this is not gonna help your channel it's not gonna help the channel don't do it um but like I said make sure that you're branding your channel so make sure that your thumbnails looking good make sure that it's clear free of clutter again um make sure that um your page is looking nice your thumbnail is nice and clean because people look at all that stuff um make sure that you have a nice uh, profile picture because if you're commenting under somebody's video and you're always doing it and uh, a lot of people will see that even the person that you're commenting under will see that and they might just subscribe to your channel they'll click on it oh she got a cute thumbnail she got a cute little profile picture let me see what she about and if they like your stuff they will subscribe so yes just make sure that your branding is on point um let's see using i think i already said quality and clear thumbnail so we're gonna we're gonna not do that because we already did that um so the next thing will be tags and titles so when you're titling your videos make sure that you are type or the, that your the title of your video is something searchable so for instance for this video um because it's you know things that i wish i would have known before i started youtube i will go on the in the search but in the search uh, bar type that in and see what's the popular um title that everybody's using for these type of videos and i will title my video that put a dash and then put something else behind it so that's what i tend to do because if you're just putting in like you know let me say for instance if you're doing a purple and green makeup look or whatever and you're putting in purple and green makeup look nobody's typing in purple and green makeup look maybe if you did like say if you used a palette and you say if you used the jay charles palette you put in like um purple or green makeup no i won't say purple and green makeup look and makeup look future in the james charles palette or something like that or james charles palette makeup tutorial so you know some people even though that's not a popular video right video right now if somebody bought the palette they might just type that in and with that being said you know try to um do try to do videos that are popular um try to do videos that are trendy um if you if you want to do makeup tutorials um for me like for instance on my channel i do a lot of julia's place tutorials with a review um especially when she just drops a palette if if i if i end up buying the palette i will do a tutorial and a review and a lot of those videos on my channel have been doing really good so if you're gonna do like a makeup tutorial again try to um use things that are um trendy at the time try to use products that are um popular and you also want to try to do like popular videos so a lot of popular videos right now are hauls people are loving clothing hauls sneaker hauls any type of haul people will watch it people are loving natural hair videos your favorite uh hair products for your type 4 hair or something like that if you're a type 3 um wash day routines people love wash day routines um your your natural hair journey people watch all that type of stuff apartment apartment videos people love apartment videos decor videos um diys people love things like that um clean with me videos people love all these type of stuff i haven't personally done this one um what's on your iphone a lot of people watch those type of videos i haven't done one but i know that a lot of people watch it because whenever i see it i can see the views at the bottom those those videos are very popular um let me see not worrying about numbers too when you first start please do not worry about numbers because i made this mistake and i got so discouraged and in the beginning it's, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but please do not let it bother you too much because once you start to let it bother you and let it consume your mind you're not gonna sue you're not gonna want to film and you're not gonna enjoy filming so please do not worry about the numbers even if you have to, to subscribe if you even if you have to um mentally tell yourself oh i'm not gonna look at my watch hours i'm not gonna look at my subscriber count or whatever don't do it you know don't do it don't let that stuff to um don't let that stuff discourage you um let me see you also want to promote your videos whatever social media platform that you have use it instagram is very big right now facebook there's facebook groups and stuff 
IG story, your Facebook story, even your Snapchat story, people promote your videos. They gonna get tired of you, but you wanna promote it because somebody's watching it. Somebody's out there is gonna wanna watch your stuff and they're gonna love you for you. So make sure that you're promoting your video. And I think that is it for this video, you guys. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. I think I've covered all of my points. So yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to thumbs up the video. Please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel if you are new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.